Christmas show, Christmas show, it's time for the Sarah Christmas show. Guess up the mini bin, here we go, it's time for the Sarah Christmas show. <laughs> you in, uh, I got to see you, in, I was in Los Angeles earlier this year, and I got to see the Benson Interruption, and that was a really good night. Dax Shepard was up, and he had just started doing stand-up. Not too long ago, and you yeah. were, you were quite kind. The whole the premise behind Benson Interruption is your comic friends come in, mm -hmm. and you essentially heckle them, and well, make the show, it, I, add dimension to the show. I try to add more comedy to yes. their performance, but sometimes <laughs> it could be construed as heckling or interrupting. But uh, the, the basic idea is that the, each comic just sort of comes out, and you know, not they're not doing their like established act, and the audience knows that I'm going to heckle, so it's not like a typical heckler situation where it's ruining the show. Nobody freaks but, out and throws. Well, it gets weird sometimes because as a comic, when so, when anybody interrupts you while you're talking, it's your it's your just knee jerk reaction to snap back at them and and you know, put them in their place because you you know you don't want people just yelling crap out at you the entire show. But uh, so sometimes I've had kind of a contentious situation will will come up where we just kind of start insulting each other. <laughs> but for the most part, uh, it helps to just have friends on. Like if I'm already friends with the person, then it's easier to uh, negotiate uh, that territory. But uh, but it's always interesting, and uh, I do it once a month at a theater now in Los Angeles called Largo, and um, so if you're you know if you're in LA and uh, you know, look up Largo and see if see if I happen to be doing it. Uh, come check it out. Or if you live in LA, then of course, by all which means, which is possible because this is the internet. So come it's... every month. That's what I'm saying. Like this is going everywhere. Everywhere. So like, uh, if you're in Asia, you're not going to see the interruption. You're going to have to come to Los Angeles. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to take it on the road more. I do it in New York every once in a while <laughs> at the UCB Theater there, and uh, yeah, it... it's a lot of fun. Are the crowds any different in between the cl clubs in New York and the clubs in L.A.? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like, you know, it's a standard comedian thing to joke about the differences between New York and L.A. And the club audiences are, are quite different. They're much more docile in uh, Los Angeles. They're much more like, you know, you get hecklers anywhere because there's alcohol involved, mm -hmm. you know, in comedy clubs. But uh, L.A. is much easier but New York can be more rewarding because when you win over a New York crowd since they're so tough it, it makes you feel like you know you've accomplished more the year I spent in New York uh, doing the marijuana logs mm -hmm. off Broadway that whole year I got to do stand-up in New York every night after the play and uh, it really it really made me a you know a tougher comedian in terms of uh, you know uh, getting the crowd's attention and, and keeping it mm -hmm. You know, you take it for granted out in Los Angeles. Everyone's just to be like, whatever, man. You know? <laughs> it's a lot easier. And then Dallas, last night, uh, I did a show here at, at Hyenas, and it was, uh, you know, it wasn't New York or L.A. It was a completely new thing, which is like, I guess people here really like to chat amongst themselves the entire time. <laughs> and, uh, Sorry. No, it, no, but it was like uh, in a fun way because everyone was having a good time. You know, it wasn't like they were ignoring the show. It was more like they were just discussing it as it happened, <laughs> like kind of a, you know, a running uh, commentary, you know, like, like they think it's a DVD and that they're supposed to uh, talk about the entire experience yeah. as it happens. This isn't the TV. This is real life here. Yeah, that's, you know, sometimes you have to point that out to the people that are like sitting at the front table texting. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm like, what are you doing texting? And they're like, I'm telling people how terrible you are. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I don't have anything to say to that. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't happen a whole lot in Dallas. We have like four celebrities, and we keep them all over on one side of, of town. What? It's Jessica Tell Simpson, me who, okay. The Jonas Brothers only count for one. Um, Why does it only count for one? Because they, they never go anywhere. Oh, themselves. I see what you mean. I thought you meant only one of them is from Dallas. So I was yeah, like, no. what kind of broken home information <laughs> do you have on the Jonas <laughs> Brothers? <laughs> They're all from different cities. <laughs> They're not related. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, the Bushes. The Bushes oh, are Oh, of course, now. the Bushes. Yeah, and then we've got, I don't know, does Jerry Jones count as a celebrity? I don't think he, that he should count as a celebrity. But is he an athlete? He's the guy who owns uh, the Cowboys, and he built mm. that ridiculous stadium, which I just found out yesterday has 
the largest television set like on the planet. It's something like I. I oh, the largest jumbotron. The jumbotron is, is. Do they also have Purell and tissues in the in every single, in the armrest? Yeah, every armrest. Damn, that's a nice stadium. Yeah, they're uh, they're doing pretty good for themselves over there. Well, I'm glad you keep track of who this, who may or may not be the celebrities of Dallas. That's my job. That's good. My job. <laughs> That's very good. Does uh, Sandy Bullock ever come up from Austin for no, a visit? No, not really. <laughs> I'm Matthew McConaughey every now. The oh, Owen and right, Luke Wilson. Right. Yeah, the Wilson brothers do stomp around a bit, and Erica Badu is always here. She's always well. Yeah, because you have the the best headdresses here. We do. <laughs> the you best have the headdresses. best towels that you can wrap around your head. And then, <laughs> and then complain about your man <laughs> in song. <laughs>